Hi, I'm Caleb. I'm an electrical lineman. A lot of people think we just use bucket trucks to get to the top of our poles, but a lot of times in backwood construction and backyards, we have to climb our poles. And today I'm gonna show y'all how we do that safely. Okay, for starters, I'll talk about the equipment you'll need to climb a pole safely. You got your belt here, leather climbing belt. You want to expect, inspect it, make sure it's in good condition. No cracks or rod on it or anything else. You've got your buck squeeze. It'll go around the pole. I'll show you how to use it here in just a little bit when you wrap around the pole. you got your hooks. You inspect them, make sure they're not cracked or anything else. Make sure they're inspecting good. And you need your boots here. You need a hard hat. And you need your leather gloves. All right, before you climb a pole, you have to make sure it's not rotten and you have to test the pole. So what you first do is you want to look up at the pole, make sure you don't see any shelling or rot. You want to make sure you don't see any bird holes that have been digging into it or anything else. So you're going to start sounding the pole. You're going to hit it on all four quarters, making sure it's got a hard thump to it. You don't want a real low, hollow thump. Make sure the pole is rotten. You've got a probe here. You're gonna stab it four times in each quarter at different depths, making sure the pole is not rotting at the base. And the last thing you want is to be climbing a pole with it being rotten and it fall over on top of you. This pole test good, so we're ready to climb. All right, now I'll show y'all how to put on climbing gear. These are my hooks. I'm gonna put those on first. I'll show you how to do it. Make sure your hook goes to the inside of your foot here. You want to pull up your pants leg so it's not real tight on you. Wrap this top Velcro piece, bottom Velcro piece. Goes around your foot. Cinch down. Grab this other one. And do the same exact thing. Pull up my pants leg again. Strap goes around the outside of the hook here. Tighten it real bit, good. Now I'm gonna step inside my belt here. You don't want this belt to be real tight. Kinda of want it around your hips a little bit. Just a little bit loose. So you can slide it down a little bit. Going around, around your hips. Okay, now we've tested our pole. We've got all our equipment on, we're ready to start climbing. We're going to attach the buck squeeze to the pole. Wrap it around like, like this. This brown strap here, adjust to the pole. If you want it to be tight. You want your green rope to be tight to the pole. That way if you do fall, you don't hit the dirt. You can put your elbow to your stomach here, kind of adjust how far you need to be. You can adjust in and out, how close and how far you want to be to the pole with this green strap here. Now, after that's already adjusted, we're ready to take our first step into the pole. All right, so we're gonna take our first step. You don't wanna to step too close to the center. You wanna kind of be on the outside of the pole a little bit. So I take my first step and I move my buck squeeze up and take my next step. Whatever leg that's on the farther end, you want it locked out. If you see, if I'm gonna be working here on this object right here, there's something right here that I need to be working on. I don't want my legs bent like this because my legs are gonna be dog tired. So if I keep my legs locked out, I can work and I can stay up here for a long time without my legs getting tired. Anyways, I'm going to show you what the adjustment to, why it's important to have this adjusted right. If you get into the inside of this pole and your legs kick out, it catches you. You have to trust your equipment. You push right out on the center of the pole, hit right back in. Okay, now you know how to climb a pole. So now we have an object in our way, these wires here, that we need to know how to transfer over. So I'm gonna climb up there and I'm gonna show y'all how to transfer and then come back down and that'll be the end of the video. Take our first step. We have a safety rope here on the side of our belt. I'm gonna put it over, attach it back to our belt. 
So now we're called off. You want to go above the object you're transferring over so that in case you slip, you don't hit the dirt. So now I can take my buck squeeze off. Attach it above the object I want to go over. Pull myself up. Adjust my buck squeeze so I don't fall. I can take my safety off. Now I'm ready to continue climbing over the object. I won't go any higher. Now I'm going to come back down and do the exact same thing opposite on the way down. Now we're going to transfer below the object. So we still put our safety rope over top of our object. That way it catches us in case we slip and fall. Attach it back to our belt. Take off our buck squeeze. Lean back into your safety. You're comfortable, you're not going anywhere. Take a few steps down. Ready to attach our buck squeeze back to the pole below the object, because we are coming down. Take off our safety, it's gonna be in the way. Attach it back to our belt. Everything's adjusted properly, we're ready to come down. Take a step, move it down, take a step, move it down. And that is how you climb a pole. Okay, now we know how to use our safety equipment, how to actually safely climb a pole and how to do everything properly without getting hurt. I know it can seem scary at first, but once you do it a bunch of times, I've been doing it for seven years, it's like second nature.